Hello everyone, welcome to the session. Good to see everyone join in. I hope all of you are doing good. Kaise ho aap sab? Hello, good evening. Welcome to the session. Hi guys. Okay, great guys. Good to see everyone join in. I hope all of you are doing well and we are ongoing. Hum log kar rahe hai VARC sets. Must solve VARC sets. ओके एंड इसमें हम लोग प्रैक्टिस कर रहे हैं पैरा बेस्ड क्वेश्चन हम लोग प्रैक्टिस कर रहे हैं रीडिंग कॉम्प्रीहेंशन बिकॉज दिस इज द अभ्यास बैच एंड द पर्पज ऑफ द अभ्यास बैच इज टू मेक श्योर कि आप लोग वी ए आर सी सेक्शन का पूरा पूरा अभ्यास करो बिफोर द कैट एग्जामिनेशन आई होप ऑल इफ यू आर रेडी हाई निखिल हेलो अंकुश वेलकम टू द सेशन हाई शुभम हेलो गुड टू सी यू Welcome to the session, guys. Hi, Prerna. Hello, Mr. Chakravarti ji. Welcome. Okay, I hope all of you are doing good. Yes. So, guys, how was your Saturday? What did you do? क्या क्या किया आपने? कैसे गया आज का दिन आपका? Hello, Viraj. Welcome to the session. Hello. Good to see everyone, guys. I hope your day was good so far. Yes. बताओ क्या क्या किया आपने? मॉक्स दिए सेक्शंस दिए क्लासेस अटेंड की पढ़ाई की टाइम पास किया कुछ नहीं किया सोए मतलब व्हाट डिड यू डू कैसा था आपका दिन वाज इट एक्साइटिंग वाज इट हैपनिंग वाज इट लेजी व्हाट इज हाउ वाज योर डे मस्त प्रोडक्टिव हेलो अभिषेक वेलकम टू द सेशन हाय प्रवीण वेलकम कौन प्रैक्टिस की वेरी गुड शुभम Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Arey, this is actually, you know, paradox. Uh, Chandler, is that Rinal? Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. मतलब अगर आप simple रहो, तो that's the ultimate, you know, sophistication in the sense that okay, you look, you appear very refined and polished. So being simple is what makes you very civilized and sophisticated and refined and polished and dignified. Hi, Drishti. Welcome to the session. Good evening. Great Nikhil. Hi Amsal. Hello. Why? Why is your voice bad? Nice Raj. Grey's Anatomy. Very good Kashish. Confusing Weekend. I have never met this village today. It's new. Why Yash? What happened? Hi Clark. Welcome to the session. Hello Prerna. Shubham. What a joke. Even look at your ability to notice. ओके गुड इवनिंग लक्ष्मण वेलकम टू दिस सेशन हेलो ओके सो गाइस आर यू रेडी फॉर सम आरसी प्रैक्टिस यू नो यूजुअली वी डू अ लॉट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस ऑफ पैरा बेस क्वेश्चंस हम लोग बहुत सारा प्रैक्टिस करते हैं पैरा जंबल्स ऑड वन आउट यू नो पैरा समरी पैरा कंप्लीशन सबका हम लोग रेगुलर प्रैक्टिस करते हैं अ लॉट ऑफ यू हैव बीन टेलिंग मैम लेट्स डू आरसीस ओके एंड वी यूजुअली टेक अप आरसीस इन आवर स्पेशल क्लासेस बट गाइस टुडे वी आर गोना टेक अप रीडिंग कॉम्प्रिहेंशन इन अ YouTube सेशन एज़ वेल Okay, and it's very important that you get it right. You observe. You, we are going to learn the technique of summarizing the passage and how to eliminate questions. Uh, sorry, eliminate answer options, seemingly close answer options, and we're going to have a look at different question stems as well. Raj, vocabulary clip. Please refer to vocabulary made easy series, which I've taken you, which I've taken you through, and the playlist of that you will find on the same channel. Okay, vocabulary made easy. Come on, let's get started. So, guys, let me remind all of you that CAT exam is right around the corner. It's lurking around the corner. Okay, not just CAT, uh, but also OMETs, right? So, uh, SNAP hai, ZAT hai, NMAT hai, IFT hai. Uske baad aapko support chahiye GK ke liye, aapko support chahiye GDPI ke liye, and all of this you get it on the best platform where you have India's best and top educators teaching you, and that is An Academy. When you take the An Academy subscription, guys, you get unparalleled benefits. जब आप plus subscription लेते हो, आपको मिलते हैं live classes by India's best educators. Listen, guys, it's very important. You should know what you're signing up for. You get unlimited access. You know, जब भी आप कोई भी coaching लेते हो, usually you're just slotted into one batch, and then you have to attend only classes of that batch. And then what happens is if you have if you if you miss classes or if you want repeat classes or if अगर आपको you know नहीं जम रहा है आपको doubt solving चाहिए 
तो वो बहुत मुश्किल हो जाता है बट अन अकेडमी इज रेवल्यूशनाइज दैट कम्प्लीटली इट्स कम्प्लीटली अ लर्नर्स प्लेटफॉर्म यू कैन अटेंड एन नंबर ऑफ बैचेस एनी नंबर ऑफ कोर्सेस ऑफ एनी एजुकेटर मल्टीपल एजुकेटर्स इफ यू वॉन्ट ऐसे नहीं है कि कोई आपको डेमो देता है और सिखाता कोई और है यू सी वॉट यू गेट यू पे फॉर वॉट यू सी एंड इट्स कम्प्लीटली योर चॉइस एंड यू कैन वॉच द रिकॉर्डिंग्स अगेन यू कैन बी अ पार्ट ऑफ सेशन यू नो अगेन एंड अगेन इन डिफरेंट कोर्सेज यू कैन रेज अ हैंड आस्क डाउट इन क्लास टॉक टू दी एजुकेटर्स एवरी फोर्थ सेशन इज अ डेजिग्नेटेड डाउट सॉल्विंग सेशन दीज आर द बेनिफिट दैट यू गेट वेन यू टेक द प्लस सब्सक्रिप्शन एंड आइकॉनिक मे यू ऑल्सो गेट अ मेंटर एंड दीज मेंटर्स विल गाइड यू ओके Uh, so they'll guide you test analysis आपको notes feature भी मिलता है so guys please make sure that all of you take the subscription ये रहे prizes of both the plus and the iconic subscription उस हिसाब से अपना subscription plan करो हमेशा कि आपका GDPI डी पी आई ओमेट सब कवर हो जाए सो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सब्सक्राइबर्स गो फॉर द लॉन्गर प्लान एंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सब्सक्राइबर्स कैन गो फॉर दी शॉर्टर प्लान ओके राइट सो आई विल टेक यू थ्रू दी अदर फीचर्स आर आर कमिंग अप उससे पहले क्वेश्चन ट्राई आउट करते हैं पर उससे पहले एक चीज आपको रिमाइंड कर दू गाइज प्रीवियस योर क्वेश्चन इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू गो थ्रू एंड दिस इज अ फ्री पी वाई क्यू सीरीज विद ओवर सिक्स हंड्रेड प्लस पी वाई क्यूज एंड विद क्वेश्चन ओवर द लास्ट फाइव ईयर्स एंड यू विल नो वॉट द कैट डिफिकल्टी लेवल इज सो प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट यू गो थ्रू दीज टेस्ट एंड रोल फॉर फ्री Don't forget to apply the code Ritu MBA. Okay, I will inform you about the upcoming batches. <laughs> Correct. Okay, good evening. So guys, उससे पहले शुरू करते हैं. चलो, let's start with RC. Give me one. Okay. Right, guys. Come on. Are all of you ready to try your hands at some reading comprehension passages? Yes. Are you so sweet, guys? आप लोग मतलब एकदम. Thank you. You're you're the best, and that's hence I'm. You feel that I'm the best. Okay, chalo. Yes, yes, Nupur. I will send you your answer keys. I will today. Don't worry. After the session, I will send you the answer keys. Hi, Jitin. Hello. Okay. So, guys, RC. Ho gaya Rahul. Ho gaya. The moment has passed. Okay. So, guys, let's get started. Take the first passage is on your screen. Whenever you get an RC passage, the first thing to do is to have a look at the questions. Great, nice, Clark. It's always important, guys, that you have a look at the questions. And uh, today's questions. Thank you, Rohit. So, इसी तरह आप लोग सही जवाब देते रहो और मैं हँसती रहूँगी और अच्छी दिखती रहूँगी, right? Okay. So, guys, today's uh, question types are very unique. Okay, and at the same time, the options are also you know seemingly close. And uh, so, let's see how to navigate through such kinds of questions and passages. Always have a look at the questions first. Which of the following summarizes the features of Notch 2 NLs genes, as can be inferred from Dr. Hosler's initial discovery mentioned in the passage? Now they've said mentioned in the passage, so this is a direct question, okay? And for these questions, you will have to go back and check in the passage, okay? When we say mentioned in the passage, that means it's a direct question, and you will have to go and refer back. To the passage, only then you'll be able to mark your answer with 100% confidence. Hi, Mahi, you're so many emojis. Great. So, okay. So, uh, what this tells us is, even if you know you don't have to like go through the uh, passage in detail because you will not be able to remember so much information, you will anyway have to come back and check. <clears throat> Which of the following best explains the influence of Notch? Two NLs on stem cells in the brainoids created by Dr. Hosler as a follow-up to his initial best explains. Again, it's given in the passage. You just have to kind of infer and summarize it. Okay, but this is you will you would have understood that this is a very scientifically heavy passage, and it is very uh, it's going to it's not going to be an easy read. Okay, you will have to skim and scan. So that's the reason why I've picked this passage is for us to practice skimming and scanning. Next one. All of the following, if true, will corroborate the secondary finding. Now, guys, all of you, my students, tell me, what type of a question is this? You're all CR students, है ना? हमने भर भर के critical reasoning की practice की है. तो जल्दी से बताओ. All of the following, if true, will corroborate. अरे राहुल, इधर कर लो. Cat easy लगेगा. 
इतना गारंटी आई कैन गिव यू ऑल ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इफ ट्रू विल कोरोबरेट द सेकेंडरी फाइंडिंग नान ऊपर कोरोबरेट कोरोबरेट गाइस जल्दी बताओ व्हाट्स द सिनोनिम फॉर कोरोबरेट इट इज अ स्ट्रेंथनिंग क्वेश्चन ओके सो गाइस रिमेंबर कोरोबरेट इज अनदर वर्ड फॉर स्ट्रेंथनिंग ओके so which of the following if true will corroborate the secondary finding very good jitin support or strengthen next one all of the following can be understood from the passage okay this could be a variation rc mein ek theta type ka question okay we'll see how to uh, solve this and what is the purpose of the literary allusion and i'm sure all of you know the word meaning of the word allusion thanks to pratham guys what is the meaning of allusion in the first para and the last para of the passage so purpose pe question hai strengthening pe question hai theta means type in the answer okay if there is a theta type in the rc then it will be of this type so i wanted to include it correct allusion means matlab ek indirect reference ya hint okay so guys please remember this is a very uh, it's going to be a technical passage it's going to be jargon based so we have to give it a quick read skim and scan okay do you want me to try it out with you or you will try it out first kaise karna hai do diary nahi strengthening wala cr question hai purpose wala critical reasoning question hai theta wala bhi you know we uh, you know different question type hai abhi tak nahi aaya shubha par agar aa jaye we'll try okay great come on guys भेजना ये भेजा हुआ है राहुल आई थिंक ग्रुप पे नहीं भेजा ओके देन यू विल हैव टू ट्राई इट हियर बिकॉज दिस इज ऑन माय सिस्टम इट्स नॉट ऑन माय फोन इफ इट वाज ऑन माय फोन आई वुड हैव सेंट इट ऑन द ग्रुप इज वेल इधर ही ट्राई करो ओके कम ऑन गाइस guys please summarize okay first para me there's nothing uh, too important one is that okay you might get to know what's the main uh, topic or the idea behind the passage how the human got his brain and it it alludes or it refers to rudyard kipling okay second para me important keywords notch to embryonic development evolutionary line leads to modern people big brains distinguish human beings from all other animal species so this gene is responsible or it's crucial to the emergence of big brains let's scroll dr hostler pe questions hai skim 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 Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Manshu. Thank you so much.
do worry author but regular practice is important be a part of regular sessions we'll get through it attend the plus classes 11 to 12 30 youtube special try and absorb as much as possible i'll give you the exposure to all of these questions all of the important question types you don't worry about that just be regular Okay, third para, what is important? New versions, undiscovered versions, new genes. These are, these were present in humans, chimpanzees and gorillas. But in chimpanzees and gorillas, they were inactive. In humans, they were active. After reading every para, you will have to reflect. One RC is a kuchni yoga arthur. Every if you sit with RC, you have to do at least three to four. Cat me problem or I mean, we to exactly prepare kare. Good Nikhil. Faster guys, faster. Five PM yash. Come on. Nay, Abhi, you have to. Rahul, I have a problem in problem. I have a problem in the world. I have a problem in the world. I have a problem in the world. Yes, Thank you, Akriti. Thank you, Nikhil. Guys, quicker. Chalo, you're taking a lot of time. It's not that difficult. Same cheese ko bar bar proof kiya ja rahe. Yes, Mahi. Yes, Arthur. Shifted Akriti. Plumage feathers. Now I have Rabat. Nay, Tanya, you'll have to give it live. Okay, everyone read the passage. So it talks about the notch 2 NL genes which are present in humans, chimpanzees and gorillas. In chimpanzees and gorillas, they were inactive. In humans, they were active. And the emergence of these genes or from when it became active, it coincides with the point where bigger, you know, the craniums were developed or where humans got bigger brains. And uh, this was also tested with the help of organi or, or organoids. And when this particular gene, you know, the notch 2 NL were present, it generated a larger brain. So when, uh, how it, uh, humans got their brain, that's answered. 
but what remains to be seen is why this happened there are different theories for this one is tool making uh, the other one is to attract good mates but you know maybe they all are correct maybe none of them is correct and it's the same idea there's just one main idea about how notch 2 nl can be linked to bigger brains and it's just a series of findings and studies in order to corroborate that <laughs> are you actually i'm not that active but you can see i think uh, just the the dp but otherwise i'm not that active okay come on guys which of the following summarizes the features of the notch 2 nl genes as can be inferred from dr hostler's initial discovery mention the passage come on you have to go through the elimination method guys i hope you get it right <laughs> true rahul okay have you eliminated any option passage first anshul just have a look at the questions ek baar just understand the nature of the questions but yeah you've got to read the passage which one what's the answer guys Okay, guys. Uh, now let's let's understand this. See, it says these genes are active in humans, chimpanzees, and gorillas. But in chimpanzees and gorillas, they are not active. So we can eliminate answer option A. Similarly, this also says they are active in humans, chimpanzees, and gorillas. But it's clearly mentioned that in chimpanzees and gorillas, they are inactive. So we can eliminate answer option B. Okay. Now. and this says there are two variants but there are not two variants if said three variants you know you have a b and c and uh, both the inactive genes have become active this is clearly a distortion so one of these two genes has become active so that's why the answer option is c got it guys very good wonderful chalo next one next one guys come on
Go on, everyone. Can I just say yes? You invent one. Best explains. Encourage the normal development. No, the normal development was when they these genes were absent. Larger brain mass is incorrect. Hi, Naman. Welcome to the session. Mouse brains. Cyclic and exponential process. Eliminate. So that's why the answer option is A. Resulting in a larger brain. Increasing the number of neurons. Very good. The answer option is A. Guys, you're going really smooth, huh? I must tell you. Come on, next one. Let's not jinx it. Chalo, third question. Come on, everyone. होगा आंसर, because you're going in a systematic manner, ना? See, we've we've gone we've gone through a great process. We've read the passage carefully. We've marked out the important points. Then options को ठीक से you know compare करके solve किया है. So the same process when you adopt, you'll be you'll be good to go. You'll be fine. Guys, jinx हो गया क्या? ध्यान से करो guys. If true, we'll corroborate the secondary finding. Except it's an exception question. It's an exception question. Another scientist introduced the notch to NL genes isolated from mouse cells into mouse embryos and found that the number of stem cells increased. So this strengthens. It says ki ha, it's the number of stem cells, number of neurons, or these are increase hota hai. True. Stem cells taken from human fetuses were found to proliferate or grow without turning into neuron themselves, but increasing the total number of neurons generated. Again, increasing the total number of neurons generated, strengthening. Magnetic resonance scans and anatomical evidence have shown that the physical features of the hippocampus. Of the brains of humans are distinct from those of the great apes. Okay, the answer option is C. Can you tell me why? Why is this the answer? First of all, the secondary finding regarding stem cells. Okay, what was the secondary finding regarding stem cells? It says it created more stem cells and increased the number of neurons, a bigger organoid, and a larger brain. This option is clearly irrelevant. Why is it irrelevant? Because it talks about the hippocampus. You are talking about the brain, and this does not talk about the stem cells. This option is irrelevant. So that's why the answer option is C. Okay, the hippocampus may be 
a part of it and all of that. The scans, this is uh, additional information. That's why they say if true. And this does not talk about the number of neurons or stem cells. That's why this option is irrelevant and hence it's our exception. Okay, wonderful guys. Next one. Come on, please read the question carefully. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Serendipitously is a lucky accident, you know, luck by chance. Okay, Abhishek says 1, 2, 4, C. Identify all that apply and enter the corresponding number. So, there will be an input box. Okay, first check which are true or which apply or which can be understood from the passage. The active notch 2NLs came into play 3 to 4 million years ago. And it uh, was the same time when there was an increase in the size of the brain. Correct. This is given. Cranium se related here. Correct Akanksh. Sorry, Akshansh. Dr. Hostler came across his initial result serendipitously or was it by accident? Okay, let's go back to the passage and check. Okay, was it by accident? Okay, he just stumbled on it. So, it was by accident. Stumbled on it. It was by accident. And 3 to 4 million years ago, wala bhi check kar lete hai. that was the same time when it started expanding or you had bigger brains. Okay, so 1 and 2 definitely correct hai. Okay, 1 and 2 correct hai. Big headedness is a trait unique to humans in the animal kingdom and it helps to th uh, throw light on the why and the how. No, it's clearly mentioned. That it tells us the how but not the why. It not the why. So three nahi hai. Three galat hai. There are several compatible theories as to why. Huh, the last para says na, there are many theories and all of them may be true or none of them may be true. So there are several compatible theories. All of them may be true means what? They are compatible. They are not exclusive. So, 1, 2 and 4 are correct. Now, you have to enter it in the increasing order. That is in the ascending order. So, that means you cannot put 4, 2, 1. Or you cannot say 4, 1, 2. You know, you have to go in the ascending order. So, 1, 2 and then 4. Clear? Did all of you understand this? Got it everyone? Come on, let's take the last question from this passage.
the volume you want. I'm glad Rahul. But they aren't sure about it. That's why they say there are several compatible theories. They're just theories. But theories to hai na. They're not said that it's their proven theories or their established theories, Nupur. But theories hai. And could have evolved. So they're all speculation. Okay, what is the likely purpose of the author's literary allusion? To suggest that though Rudyard Kipling did not discuss the evolution of the human brain, he didn't need to. That story is implicit in his stories. To introduce a just-so story that we have found an answer to and to point to another just-so story for the same context. So the first one is how. Jiska answer humko pata hai. The first para says how the humans, you know, got their big brains. And the last para, the concluding para, introduces another just so story, that is why, which remains to be seen. Excellent, guys. Wonderful. Correct. The answer option is B. Wonderful. Got it? Did all of you understand this? Excellent, Jitin. Very good. Very good, Shubham. Abhi, everyone. Very good, Rahul. Yes, Jumaima. Excellent, Abhishek and Nikhil. Very good. Got it? Clear with this? Okay. Shall we try out another passage? Chalo, guys, you're doing great. Okay, let's try out another passage. There are three questions. This passage may say. Ruko, four questions. Maybe five wala hai. Hai. Four to five questions. Okay, and uh, one is the uh, tone-based question. So, let's look at this. No, put. Para-based karte rehte. Aaj RC karenge. Chalo. The author's views regarding the concept of alienation can be best characterized as. So basically it's asking you the author's tone. Which of the following is not a probable assumption made by the author in the last para? So assumption question, it's a CR question. Which of the following is the most reasonable depiction of the essence of the penultimate para? Penultimate para means the one before last. Most reasonable depiction of the essence of the penultimate para cannot be inferred. Okay, are all of you ready to take this on? Chalo guys, it's a CR passage, it's a pure CR passage, it's an alienation. Okay, come on guys, go through it. Dan Shuma. Thoda sa deri me laenge, but I will get it. Replete means full of. Vocabulary made easy, Clark. Nice, Nikhil.
talismanic is like magical affluent rich vain decline we've done all of these words rich wealthy opulent Dwari Prabhat, you've got to keep reading. But guys, that's why it's very important that you try to RC passages of different genre and expose yourself to different reading material. The passage is about alienation. Guys, अगर आप नहीं समझ पा रहे हो तो इट्स बिकॉज यू कैबलरी इज टू ब्लेम इज टू बी ब्लेम्ड
delinquency fraud vocabulary made easy clark Come on, guys. Dan, shall we go to the questions? Yes, no. All of you ready? Okay, question. The author's views regarding the concept of alienation can be best characterized as. It's about 10 videos, Clark. Yeah, you'll have to go through those. Come on. What's the tone of the author? See, when it comes to the tone, you know, true Nupur. Okay, when it comes to the tone, focus on the last para. How much time should you take to solve RC? It's always the number of questions plus 4 to 5 minutes. I would say 4 minutes with a buffer of 1 minute, Trishti. So, uh, if there, let's say for instance there are 5 questions, then you take about 5 minutes to solve the questions and about 4 minutes to read the passage. So, that gives you 9 to 10 minutes. Huh. Same. Okay, Rahul says B. What about the others? Is he apathetically objective, dogmatically skeptical, trenchantly critical, or pedantically inquisitive? It's very important to know the meanings of these words. Only then you'll be able to figure it out. Apathetically objective, dogmatically skeptical, trenchantly critical, pedantically inquisitive. Okay, first I'll explain the meaning of the options. A pathetically objective. Okay, now a means no. Path or pathy means feelings. So when you say apathetic, apathetic means no feelings. So when you say no feelings, it means you are indifferent. So synonyms for apathetic would be indifferent or nonchalant. Okay, so apathetically objective. Matlab, you are not interested. Oh, you are there in the class, Surujit. Hi. So, apathetically objective. Fine. Dogmatically skeptical. Now, what is dogmatic? A dogmat dogma means principle, same as the word doctrine. So, if you are a dogmatic person, you apne vichar dusro pe thopte ho. So, agar aapko sahi lagta hai, to dusro ko bhi sahi lagna chahiye. So, a dogmatic person is a very dominating person. Skeptical. When you say skeptical, skeptical means doubtful. Okay, you are doubtful or you are unsure. So dogmatically would be like it, it's a very okay. I'll explain the meanings of the words and then I'll tell you in tone how would they come. Trenchantly critical. Okay, so when you say trenchantly critical, what's the meaning of the word trenchant? Trenchant means 
very you know sharply critical i would say sharply critical pedantically inquisitive pedantically means very bookish like blue stocking you say na nerd or geek like that pedantically inquisitive now in tone if you are apathetically objective means that you you treat the passage in a very dispassionate manner आप बहुत ही ऑब्जेक्टिव हो आप सिर्फ फैक्ट्स दे रहे हो आप अपना व्यू ज्यादा नहीं दे रहे हो यू आर नॉट टेकिंग अ बायस्ड स्टैंड और अ सब्जेक्टिव स्टैंड और यू नॉट बीइंग टू ओपिनियनेटेड यू आर ऑब्जेक्टिव मतलब आप जैसे है वैसे स्टेट कर रहे हो विदाउट बीइंग टू ओपिनियनेटेड अबाउट इट डॉगमेटिकली स्केप्टिकल मीन्स दी ऑथर हैज अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग डिक्टेटोरियल टोन मतलब थोड़ा थोपने वाला टोन या थोड़ा क्या बोलते हैं जैसे थोड़ा या थोड़ा डोमिनेटिंग टोन है सिवियरली क्रिटिकल और ट्रेंशली क्रिटिकल पिडांटिकली इंक्विजिटिव इंक्विजिटिव मीन्स वॉन्ट्स टू नो मोर लाइक वेरी जिज्ञासु ओके लाइक यू वेरी क्यूरियस यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर ना अंडरस्टैंड वॉट्स दी ऑथर्स टेक ऑन द कॉन्सेप्ट ओके नाउ वेर डू यू फाइंड द ऑथर्स व्यूज on alienation come on come on guys it was a painful obstacle overcoming alienation see the words used ex in alienation was used to explain everything from juvenile delinquency to divorce rates apathy substance abuse it was a spiritual and psychological malaise or a problem or a suffering tragedy of culture iron cage fear of alienation it 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 was a theory which was used to explain discontent or it led to dissatisfaction so guys it's clearly a negative opinion the doc, the author is not skeptical or doubtful he is opinionated he is not inquisitive he is not bookish in nature it's severely critical it's very sharply critical the answer to this question is c you have to guys adjectives pe focus karo what else are you going to focus on to understand the tone of the passage you've got to focus on the adjectives used you've got to focus on the words used come on next one 11th one come on guys so aapko regular hona padega motivation
Okay, which of the following is not a probable assumption made by the author in the last part of the passage? In the hierarchy of markers of oppression to be vanquished, alienation doesn't enjoy the highest priority. Indulging alienation as a problem is justifiable when a society is improving its living standards. The concept of alienation rose to popularity because of its emotional persuasion. It was a source of oppression that need not be vanquished immediately. Now, look at this. If you look at the last para, alienation became a self-indulgent luxury. Now that living standards were not necessarily rising, they were not necessarily rising. This says it is improving its living standards. So can I, the answer option will be B. B is not a probable assumption. Got it? Clear with this guys? All the others are given B. Chalo, next one. Come on guys. Yes, Pranav, para. Okay, Yog, you'll have to attend classes. Have to be regular, guys. There could be so many reasons why you're going wrong. Uh, Nihal, you have to say essence of para. Pranav, you'll have to take the subscription, guys. Once you've just started with it, 
take the subscription guys join a plus batch it's very crucial okay humans are sad when they feel they don't belong and one must be fortunate to overcome the sense of ruthless alienation alienation is considered to be the absence of identity which leads to profound disturbance but it's a necessary evil in the journey of finding one's true self it leads to a sense of ruthlessness which could be eliminated only through reflection it's assumed to be a sense of ruthlessness whose cure lay in cathartic journey to feeling one with the world okay guys very good the answer option is d now let's understand this okay see it says overcoming alienation self transparency authenticity personal integrity and solidarity okay then feeling whole or at one with the world so the best best answer option which depicts is d a sense of ruthlessness feeling one with the world option c may the word only is incorrect it's not the absence of identity necessary evil one's true self distortions okay can it fortunate fall and if you look at a humans are sad when they feel they don't belong and one must be fortunate to overcome the sense of ruthless alienation this is incomplete in nature so correct the answer option is d okay let's look at the last question here guys come on everyone cannot be inferred as a cause it was a time when the world was deteriorating because of the perpetuation of a new culture it was a convenient way to explain many afflictions of modern life intellectuals needed a spiritual or psychological malice sorry physiological malice to blame for discontent this we clearly read spiritual or physiological malice to blame for the discontent or to explain discontent cannot be inferred see concept of alienation 50s and 60s okay if you go back to the passage okay they needed a way to explain this content then it talks about poverty inequality social immobility religious persecution spiritual and psychological malice it was used to explain everything from juvenile delinquency or divorce rates apathy substance abuse modern life ke jo afflictions hote hain okay so if you look at this a diya hai okay this is clearly given we have read all of this many afflictions like substance abuse and all of that of modern life this is also given 
spiritual and psychological mal is also given perpetuation of a new culture not so that's why the answer option is got it guys clear with this everyone that is not given okay wonderful guys very good okay so guys uh, great work okay we'll i'll meet you on monday for more classes kal ka schedule guys i'll let you know okay or else we'll take a break tomorrow and i'll meet you again on monday guys the last mile batch for cat in amets 2022 is here august 4th it's an evening batch please make sure that all of you enroll the basic to advanced batch for cat in amets 2023 is also here so jaldi se enroll karo sample notes for cat aap log download kar sakte ho of course number i will share you just have to enter your name phone number and email id and you can download sample notes for vrc quant and lrdi these are free for you to download and check it out the daily dose series from 6 to 6:15 pm with five questions analysis happens every sunday the all india mock test for cat 2022 is here mock test tomorrow guys i want everyone to give the aimt 12 pm to 2 pm it's going to be a 120 minutes test with 66 questions from all the three sections great scholarships up for grabs up to 1 crore and a lot to be learned guys live leaderboard india wide test please make sure that all of you give it agar koi puche aap log kal kya kar rahe ho 12 se 2 so you will all tell that we are going to going to give the all india mock test by an academy after the application of the code ritu mba okay want to see all your faces on this wall guys soon ye sab aapke cat 2021 ke toppers and i am converted candidates hai aur cat 2022 ka list jaldi se aayega jisme aap sabke naam hone chahiye okay i'll let you know about the schedule bye bye guys special classes free life classes on the an academy learning app we'll start off our special classes at full fledged a little later uh, probably monday se shuru karenge guys any where any time learning you never miss a class don't forget to apply the code ritu mba Thank you everyone please make sure to like share and subscribe see you all in the live classes soon bye bye